We welcome you back here at the new variant, well, kind of a new variant, of Green Super Speedway. The infield has been adjusted, but every time we do the oval type, there's still going to be infield haulers sitting around. It has been a while since our last pistol keep race, almost two weeks to be exact, out in the snow. But today, we're back at the same track where the last time we were here, we had a controversy pistol keep finish, but... There's actually no WL line rule because we're not doing the oval circuit. We're doing the half oval circuit, which is three turns. And yeah, this kind of new variant of Green Super Speedway will also try out another new variant that's going to come by tomorrow night. So we're going to have a pistol keep double header. So tonight on this channel, there's going to be a double header race. Pistol keep. Right now, and YouTuber Hunger Games at Neo Super Speedway tonight on NBC Sports Washington. We are live right here at the new variant of Green Super Speedway live coverage on NBC Sports Washington. For Pistol Keep Racing. Here are some of your drivers to look out for. We have Rookie, Easy Idol. Starts on the fourth position. Watch out for him. He had a great car tonight. How about Trunk Fresh, who starts on the pole? Trunk Fresh, because of a random draw, he got to sit on the pole for tonight's race. Not to mention we're doing a double header race. Tonight's race, and then we're going to do another race tomorrow. Can't wait to see this pistol keep race go well as we're going to do 10 fine laps around this half variant of green super speed with just three corners and we can't wait for this race to begin. Okay, that's enough. So let's look at your starting lineup for real. Row 1, Trunk Fresh and Nitroid. Row 2 is Sidewall Shine and Easy Idol. Row 3 is Octane Gain and Rusty's. Before his bumper save and leak less and gaskets rounds out the field. We are about to be underway here at the half variant of Green Super Speed. Green flag is in the air. Trunk Fresh with a great jump. About to launch into turn number two, which is going to be pretty tough. Through the hairpin of turn number two. Sidewall Shine makes a clean pass on Nitro Aid. Scrolling down the back straightaway. Look at Sidewall Shine. Making some moves already. Trying to rebound from his terrible start of Pistol Keep. Through the small hairpin. Out of that corner. Trunk Fresh will lead the first lap. Of this first lap variant of. Green Super Speedway new variant track. Scrolling through that corner again. Look at the whole field. They are all single file. Even in this new variant track. Even Lee Glass. He's like the only driver on the bottom side. Scrolling through turn number two. Nitro A gets into the bumper to the back of Trunk Fresh. Gets Trunk Fresh loose. Trunk Fresh saves it. A bump and run by Nitro Aid into Trunk Fresh. A little bump behind Easy Idol right there as he bumps Octane Gain. Trunk Fresh will fall back a ton of spots. Three wide in the hairpin. Are you kidding me? Coming on to lap number three as Nitro Aid for now has the lead after making that bump and run for into Trunk Fresh. Wow, many people are going to say that is hard racing, especially on the second lap. Drivers are trying to be really aggressive. No practice, no qualifying at this new variant. People are just going to, like, drivers are going to be, like, everywhere. It's going to be like a hot mess, like spaghetti all over the table. Sidewall Shine might do the same bump and run. Gives the bump and run to Nitro A. Sidewall Shine now steals the lead. Here comes Easy Addle making rookie aggressive moves. Around goes Sidewall Shine. Into um, NASCAR turn four he goes. Caution is out for Sidewall Shine. And basically it was a Nitroid's fault. Easy Addle got a little too aggressive. Got into Nitroid. Which Nitroid got into Sidewall Shine. Which turned Sidewall Shine around. And wow. Nitroid. Especially with the last race. Getting penalized. Because he went below the WL line. Even though Lee Class forced him. And all that. But... Anywho, Sidewall Shine's going to be able to continue on. He literally has, like, no damage except for some contact that has been made. A lot of drivers are treating this as if this was a road course because we have a hairpin turn number three. That is the style of lit speedway. 
Green flag in the air and Octane Gain with a great launch without even a bump from Trunk Fresh. Octane Gain a great restart, but that that restart does look concerning. Scrolling through turn number two, Octane Gain built like a tank this whole race. Pistol Keep officials are now black flagging Octane Gain as they said that he jumped the start ever since we got Green Flag Racing back onto lap number six. And yes, we did do, um, yeah, we were about to do four to go, but now Octane Gain is going to get black flagged one lap. So this means Octane Gain will be a lap down unless a caution happens. So now Octane Gain now has to go down pit road. That's what he gets for jumping the start. Octane Gain being held on pit road one lap just for jumping the start. Nitroid leads them down with four to go. Nitroid is about ready to get his second win of the season as he wants to forget about what happened two races ago. Well, he basically is trying to get his third win of the season because he won in the snow. And there is problems in turn number three. Gaskets dumps Rusty's. Rusty sliding in turn number three. A major hit by Rusty. Caution is out already as he is in the tire barriers. Wow, I do not think Rusty's can drive that car out of the tire barriers because, yes, we did put tire barriers in turn three. Duh. So, yeah. That, what, like. So, Gasket said on the radio that it was payback. After what happened during the controversy race where he got penalized just for not only blocking bumper save, but also gets pushed out by Rusty's. Remember that controversy finish? Yes, it is still trending. And Gaskets literally dumped Rusty. And the crowd is roaring right now. They are glad to see and are glad to see, like see what is happening right now. Red flag is out. Gaskets scrolling through turn number three. And the middle finger has been thrown by Gaskets. As, wow. Rusty's is not happy with Gaskets after what happened. After Gaskets straight up dumped him. Sent him in the tire barriers. Gaskets apparently was slowing down on the front straightaway. He had some damage on that car. And apparently, like, by the rules, during the red flag, you cannot work on your car but you can't plan on how you're going to work on that car. So those are the rules while under a red flag. And we're trying to clean this mess up after Rusty's dumped by gaskets. The crowd is still cheering. We're glad to see Rusty's is okay, but boy, does he look angry. He like, he basically wants to fight gaskets after the race. Rusty's gets the hook and Rusty's now ends up behind the wall as they're towing him away. Rusty's is now behind the wall. Wow, a tough break for Rusty's as, yeah, under this red flag here at Green Super Speed. Yeah, new variant of Green Super Speedway. Rusty's cannot be too happy as there's a crew members in the garage. Can't, like, it's just a disbelief to those crew members. They just did not believe, like, they could not believe what just happened. And they're fixing up to fix the tire barriers. Once they get the tire barriers fixed, we'll be back under caution presented by Planet Orange. And yes, we do have sponsors for our flags that are going out. That video is coming soon. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, they're going to be fixing that. And we're still trying to find some sponsors. Comment down what sponsor you want to be for any red flag. For example, red flag presented by Coca-Cola. Or stuff like that. That's an example. So comment down some sponsors you want me to do for the couple, the next few red flags for future races. And I have some sponsors in mind as, yeah. So red flag has been lifted. Gaskets right now sitting in pit road. Right now they're fixing that car while we're still under the planet orange caution. And now he is about to roll off. We are about to head into overtime. Atlantis Casino overtime is underway as we're going to take the entry great green flag. Two to go. The young rookie gets a great restart and throws the block on Nitro Aid. Nitro Aid gets a little too high in turn two. Slips up the track goes Nitro Aid. Now here comes Leakless making on the high side. 
Rick Ware Racing is in the top two as they come to turn number three. White flag in the air presented by Lil Torquey Pistols. One lap to go. Through the first corner for the final time. Lee Glass slips up the track a little. Through turn number two. Then one straightaway. And then the um hairpin is all Easy Idle has. Lee Glass is not playing games right now. Here comes Nitroid and Trunk Fresh. By the way, I have to hold them because these cars do not stop rolling. But Nitro Aid, bump drafting Easy Idle. Bump and run move again made by Nitro Aid. Through the final corner for one last time. Nitro Aid dumps Easy Idle. They are sliding on the last lap. Rusty's with that heavy damage. Easy Idle is going to get his very first career win in his debut. Wow, Nitro Aid hit the tire barriers. I do not think Nitrate will be too happy about that, but Rick Ware Racing 1-2 after getting new equipment from, um, you know, the NDRA Motors from their, um, yeah, their headquarters over in South Texas. They got, Rick Ware Racing got new equipment and finally got Easy Idle built like a tank. Nitroid cannot be too happy to leak less. Easy Idol makes his rookie burnout. Congratulations to the young rookie, Easy Idol. Congratulations to the young rookie, Easy Idol. Here's our finishing results. Leakless, second. Sidewall Shine, third. Trunk Fresh, fourth. Bumper Safe, fifth. Gasket, sixth. Octane Gain, seventh. And Nitroid and Rusties both get a DNF. So at least... The whole field, um, well not the whole field, a good chunk of the field finished. And at least all the Octane Gain models finished. So GG. Thank y'all for watching guys. Hope you enjoy this race. We'll see you in the YouTuber Hunker Games tonight.